Right, this is the um, second video in this little series. This is the Norman Knight with the banner painted up. This is what it looks like. It's quite big on this horse, but maybe that's the style of it. Not really happy with that banner. I'll explain more about that in a minute. Quite like the horse though. Oops, dappled grey horse. I think the shield is okay though. It's meant to be a war hawk or something like that, but it looks a bit like a canary. Anyway, not too bad. The banner, now uh, this side here, I started to freehand it, uh, painted that cross in the middle, and then uh, and those little red parts of the pennants, the little dog teeth at the end. But it didn't really go according to plan, so then I, what I decided I would do would be to um, try and uh, use some transfers. I've got these little big men, uh, medieval transfers. So I cut one of the crosses out and stuck that on the banner. They do sort of worked. Um, it's not great, but at least it's, it's going to be, you know, fairly symmetrical and so on. That wasn't too bad. And then I decided to uh, jazz the banner up a bit by. Um, Putting some bands of colour on. Now I ha I've shown you this one before. This uh, this other set of uh, transfers. This is the uh, Sassanid banners. I cut one of those out, and I um, it's over here. I just reach it. I cut it up, and you can see I fixed part of it there and then there and uh, I did the other side a bit as well just to try and tidy it up but honestly it's okay it's okay from a distance um, I need more practice at painting banners I, I thought I did okay with this shield and so I'll give a go at the banner but it hasn't really worked out I would need a bit more practice I've looked on YouTube and there's a few other videos on the painted banners and so on. There was a really good one from uh, War Games Strategy and Soldiers, I think it was. Uh, Chrissy, the, the lady who prints, painted those, she doesn't paint anymore. I don't know, uh, don't know why she doesn't do anymore, but uh, she's a very good painter. But she painted a banner on a, um, paper. Obviously, that would have been good. Or, of course, I can just use these, um, these little big man style ones and uh, perhaps more so of these ones get a piece of tin foil cut it to the right size and uh, bend it around a, a little metal spike or post and uh, make them but if there are any other videos out there on YouTube that you've seen that um, might be useful for um, helping to practice or getting used to painting banners then by all means let me know Anyway, what's my overall conclusions on this? This is another V&V &V miniatures figure. It's a 28mm figure. Uh, I did enjoy painting it. Um, it's a very simple figure to paint. It's just um, chain mail. Obviously, you can go to town a bit on the horse. I was only doing the one figure, so I didn't have to um, worry too much about time or anything like that. Um, so I think the horse is quite nice. That's a, that's a front view of it. Because these figures are so light, because they're resin, um, I put a metal pen in his uh, leg, and that one there, the one that's uh, attached to the base, and uh, I built up the base a bit with um, some diorama material, the Vallejo diorama material, um, so that the, there'd be plenty of room for the pen to go into the ground, um, and fix the figure there. But because these figures are so very light, it doesn't really need much much holding if you like and the rider is also pinned to the saddle 
with another piece of metal from when I painted it and I've been put them on these corks and then when I finished um, just snip the uh, wire off and leave a bit of the wire in the figure and uh, and use that to uh, pin it to the other parts of the model anyway there you go you can see what um, you can see what I've done um, this, this PNV miniatures figure is a, is a little bit stiff maybe in terms of pose it's a standard pose and then he is carrying a great big banner so I don't know that you'd be that lively if that was um, you or I doing that for real um, yeah I think I'll leave it there I hope you enjoyed this and if you did uh, do like and subscribe and um, See you in the next video. Bye.